Hey, what's up guys? Captain Bozzy here, and this is Mass Effect 3 Multiplayer N7 Academy Part 11. And in this episode, we'll be covering the N7 Paladin Sentinel, who is, in my opinion, one of the best pure tech kits in the game. And of course, he's got Snap Freeze, Incinerate, and Energy Drain, so he can do it all, from Fire Explosions, to Tech Bursts, also to Cryo Explosions. So, if you're looking for a really great uh, kit to have on your team to balance everything out, to be able to prime and detonate, all types of powers. This is absolutely an essential kit to have, and uh, he, he really is great just to throw in with any type of team build. Okay, so uh, first up here we got Energy Drain, and looking at the uh, 4B power, that's what I recommend you go with uh, for the impact radius. Um, you really could also go with damage, it's really up to you. I, I really just go with impact radius because uh, sometimes when you're playing, um, you know, if, you're, if your shields are, are low and you really need to get a quick, uh, you know, recharge. So, of course, you can use Energy Drain to uh, steal uh, enemies' barrier or shields and to, you know, replenish your own uh, shields. Um, sometimes, you know, like I said, if you're kind of in a dire situation and you need to, uh, you know, get a quick Energy Drain on an enemy to replenish your shields, sometimes they can be kind of far away on the map. And uh, so it's really good to just make sure you have this impact radius to make sure that, you know, you can cover as much distance as possible when you're trying to get that energy drain in. So, of course, the max radius here is three meters. And uh, so, like I said, this is kind of arguable if you want to do more damage. Um, I, I personally prefer the impact radius, though. All right, moving on to... Uh, uh, rank 5 here, we have either Drain or Recharge Speed. Uh, Energy Drain is one of those powers that has a really fast cooldown. You can see it's only uh, 2.67 seconds. So, you know, uh, investing the, the point here in Recharge Speed, in my opinion, is not really necessary. It's only 25%. So, you know, what you're looking at would be pretty much unnoticeable once you're actually in the game. So really, in my opinion, uh, you definitely want to go with the uh, shield restoration rate here, and that's 50%. Um, it's only from uh, synthetic enemies, so, um, you know, that, that limits it a little bit, but still, that, that, is, that is enough that definitely makes it worth it. All right, and lastly here we have uh, damage versus armor boost. Um, Normally, I would go with something that is more along the lines of, you know, supporting the uh, energy drain on a, on a defensive way of restoring your shields. But in this case, I'm against using arm, armor boost simply because uh, it, it uh, reduces your damage taken um, only, only from synthetics. Uh, so, no, it's, it's really not something that you absolutely need you already have uh you know the 50 percent here is is you know so i don't i don't think it's really necessary and uh you can have that uh increased damage by 40 percent so that's really another arguable thing um but i i definitely suggest going with uh damage in my opinion going on to incinerate here with uh, rank five um once again this is a impact radius versus uh damage call here so in this case I'm gonna go with damage mainly because when you're doing your incinerates they're probably gonna be in enemies who are pretty close to you so either close to mid-range you're not gonna really be doing too many long-range incinerates you're gonna probably be doing that uh, with uh, energy drain if you wanna hit an enemy from from much further away so um, so yeah I think I think damage is the way to go with that and then uh, with rank 5, you got recharge speed versus uh, burning damage. The way I have this kit spec'd, um, uh, recharge speed for your powers is really not going to be too big of a problem. Um, so I definitely think that going with uh, doing more damage is definitely the way to go. And lastly, uh, you have armor damage versus uh, freeze combo here. So of course, you also have snap freeze, which is something you're going to be using to uh, prime enemies for cryo explosions. And then of course, you can detonate those cryo explosions with either energy drain or with incinerate. So um, really, this isn't a bad idea to go with the freeze combo if you know because you're going to certainly be doing that a whole lot. However, um, this freeze combo, of course, is assuming that you're only going to be detonating that freeze. Uh, the cryo explosion with incinerate and that's not always going to be the case so um, in my opinion that's why uh, going with armor damage is more important because really 
uh, you're going to be using incinerate on enemies who have armor a whole lot and that's because that's the really the quickest way with this kit to be able to take down uh, armored enemies is to hit them with incinerate and then do some kind of combo on them um, so that's that's really uh, the way to go with that in my opinion but no, if you if you want to go with that combo because you are going to be doing lots of cryo explosions that's definitely a good way to go as well all right so then moving on to snap freeze here um, I covered snap freeze in my previous video with the AIU so uh, it's really the same exact uh, uh, point specs here so it's just the uh, reach so that you have some more range and then uh, uh, cryo explosion and I, I choose to do the the damage uh, to frozen targets with that um, instead of the, um, the duration of the freeze effects um, and the uh, movement speed simply because uh, with movement speed it's hardly noticeable and uh, like when you're actually in the game and same thing with freeze effects once you actually have an enemy completely frozen he's going to get killed immediately anyway so you don't really need to waste your point on that. Okay, and then lastly here you have tech combo uh, versus damage and weakness. Uh, in my opinion, this is an arguable slot. Um, if you want more damage, it's definitely not a bad idea. But uh, you're going to be doing tons and tons of cryo explosions with this kit. So you definitely want to, uh, you know, have that damage with tech combos in my opinion. Okay, um, with this particular build, um, I don't have any any points spec in N7 Paladin. Of course, that's really all about mainly your your weapon damage, um, well, weapon damage and power damage. So, if you of course if you have uh, this spec a little bit differently, uh, if if you have one of these uh, six six slots empty, then of course you could put uh, the first three points here in in the N7 Paladin slot, and of course that will give you. Um, you know, some more power damage and uh, weapon damage. Um, it's not a bad idea. Personally, I don't do it because uh, he's really all about powers anyway. And you now, with all of these, all of these powers, you, you know, you don't, you don't really need to uh, put any more damage. You know, to, to do it really here because they're already taken care of here. And uh, you know, that, that's really what he's all about. He's all about powers, priming and detonating powers. He's not. You know, weapon damage isn't as important with him, in my opinion. And then lastly here, um, one other really cool thing, and this is kind of like the cherry on top with uh, the N7 Paladin, is his shield. And of course, just like the uh, the Geth Juggernaut, uh, he has a shield that can be used to uh, defend against projectiles. You know, something like um, you know, Geth enemy Geth Jugs who are who are shooting uh, siege pulses at you. You can uh, you know. Use your shield to deflect those uh, also against ravagers and uh, you know other other types of enemies as well so this can be really useful in uh, deflecting those kinds of things and helping out your teammates if they're doing you know one of the uh, the four point hacks uh, that that type of objective and they're they're vulnerable and you want to you know just set up in front of them with your shield to to block uh, any you know projectiles that are gonna hit them um, that's a really you know fun thing to do and really useful uh, but of course you can just use the shield in you know general combat with a with a melee and uh, so if we look here uh, you can spec your shield for uh, more melee damage or with uh, health and shield bonuses. Um, this is definitely arguable. You could, you know, because really you're just going to be meleeing. That's all you can do with it, obviously, is use it offensively to melee or defensively to just, you know, block projectiles. So um, I personally did the health and shield bonus here just because the, uh, the Paladin's a little bit uh, squishy. I will be using an, a, a, a psychotic modulator with him to help out with that a little bit, but this just helps out with it a little bit more. Um, and then shield, shield durability. So this is, of course, when you have your shield down and it's getting hit by, uh, you know, by enemy fire. Uh, so this allows the shield to just uh, stay alive without it collapsing, uh, gives it some more strength. And it's that versus uh, the shield recharge. It's very rare, to be honest, for your shield to collapse uh, when you have this uh, spec. So this is really not that important. Um, and the last thing here is uh, fire shield versus cryo shield. This is another thing that's arguable, and you can just do whatever uh, you want. Um, there's also another video on this channel and the massive effectiveness series that shows how you can use the cryo shield to actually freeze phantoms and that's pretty that's pretty neat so you can uh, check that out as well um, 
I personally use it uh, with the fire fire shield uh, simply because I like getting the the fire effect and using it to uh, prime enemies for uh, for fire explosions. So you know that's 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 pretty cool. And um, <clears throat> I also use that really over the the cryo effect simply because snap freeze is so effective that uh, in, in my opinion the the fire shield is you know the the way to go with this. But like I said, it's really Whatever your preference is, you can try out both and, and see what you like. Okay, so that covers his powers, so let's move on to weapons. Um, as far as SMGs go, I personally love the N7 Hurricane. In my opinion, it's really the only SMG that's worth using in the game. It just by far has the best stats uh, among all the SMGs. Um, so I personally use an SMG and, of course, my favorite sidearm, the Acolyte. Uh, simply because it keeps your uh, your weight low, and it's it's just nice because the the N7 Hurricane has some pretty good distance on it, and of course you know when you're up close on enemies, it has really great fire rate and damage. So you know you can do a lot of you can just chip away at enemies, and like I said, um, this this class or this kit is really all about being power based and priming and detonating uh, explosions. So. You know, really, what you want to do is just be, you know, having that be your main, your main offense, and then have your weapons just be kind of like, kind of like on the side. You know, those, those are just, uh, how do I put it? Those, the weapons are more used just to keep enemies at bay, whereas your main offense with this kit is going to be your powers. So course i'll demonstrate this once we actually get into the game uh, so just to show you the weapon mods here of course uh, this is just the uh, smg recoil system which i absolutely recommend you use with the uh, with the hurricane because if you don't have this mod on here your weapon stability is going to be way off and it's you know basically when you try to shoot your gun's going to go straight up in the air and um, so basically any any enemy who isn't like directly in front of you it's going to be really difficult to be able to uh, to shoot straight for an extended period of time so you definitely want to go with this recoil system and if you don't have this then you're going to have to uh, compensate for it with a different type of mod in your in your equipment slots okay so the other thing here is just uh, the high caliber barrel for some extra damage and then for the acolyte I just use the high caliber barrel is that for uh, with that as well for some extra damage and also uh, the ultralight pistol materials just to help keep my weight down so I have faster cooldowns okay so that covers the weapons there and lastly here is equipment so uh, equipment wise um, really you can go with any type of the uh, tech uh, armor powers here so or sorry uh, ammo powers here so really with cryo disruptor or uh, incendiary and uh, I usually use disruptor uh, with this simply because um, I don't really need to waste my incendiary ammos with this kit because I'm going to be using uh, both the shield as well as incinerate to do any of the uh, you know fire stuff that I need anyway so to me it's not really worth wasting those ammo rounds when other kits need it so much more um, you know because this real this kit just doesn't need it for any priming since you can do that with snap freeze and you can do that with incinerate anyway so uh, so disruptor of course that allows you to uh, to prime for tech burst which you'll probably never really get you're gonna be doing your other stuff um, but this is definitely um, a great way to just uh, you know basically stun stun enemies that are coming at you with your uh, with your hurricane and then uh, of course uh, you can either use a uh, pistol rail lamp or an SMG rail lamp. I suggest the SMG rail lamp. The uh, uh, Acolyte already has really enough uh, damage already. And, of course, uh, if you didn't have either of those, you could certainly go with the, uh, the targeting VI or the strength enhancer. And then uh, the only real option I suggest using here is the psychotic modulator. Um, if you really want to be... Uh, if you want to, if you really want to take a chance, you know, and be daring, and just use, uh, you know, energy drain to to uh, get your shields uh, back up. Of course, you could use something like a adrenaline module to make him faster, or of course, you could also compensate for your uh, for your cooldowns uh, with something like power efficiency module 
or um, if you also on your hurricane you don't have the recoil system mod then you definitely want to go with the stabilization module to help uh, compensate for the hurricanes uh, you know really uh, really bad recoil okay and then lastly here um, is just for the gear bonus um, I suggest going with the omni capacitors and that will help give you the uh, the extra uh, cooldown speed and uh, as well as more tech damage. Um, if you don't have Omni capacitors, um, you could certainly also go with something like SMG damage or um, let's see, your ex expert package that will help with your power recharge speed and give you some more SMG damage. Um, let me see. Engineering kit, pretty you know anything that has to do mainly, in my opinion, with either SMG damage or uh, or power damage would be would be fine. See if there's anything else here. Yeah, I think that's really about those. Are, those are really the best ones. Okay, so let's move on. All right, let's get into the game here. Let's put this guy to work. We need this location taken back. Lock down this area. Enemy forces incoming. Okay, so with my keybinds at the top left there, you can see um, I use F for energy drain. I use a uh, middle mouse and secondary uh, three. So really, I use three. Uh, for incinerate and then for snap freeze I use X uh, so of course once again you really want to focus on on doing power combos with the uh, with the paladin here and I'll show you right now with uh, snap freeze so you can see I just uh, did snap freeze on both of those guys I looked like he was already unfrozen So there's the shield use right there. And if I can find a uh, Marauder here, I'll restore my shields. Oh, it's already restored. Okay. So there you go. There's some energy drain use there to restore my shields. All right. There's a cryo explosion for you. So remember with uh, Snap Freeze, you can always do it through walls. That's definitely uh, something really useful and with its really great range, you know, over here I can be hitting those guys and priming them for cryo explosions. There you go, right there. Man, I think that was... <laughs> that was a pretty nice uh, cryo. So there you go. That, that's really what you want to be doing is, you know, using Snap Freeze to cover as much territory as possible to hit mobs 
and uh, prime them for cryo explosions, and then use uh, either um, incinerate or energy drain to detonate that cryo explosion. And of course, you know you can also do other types of uh, uh, tech detonations. So you can see also how I'm I'm using the uh, the hurricane, you know, to chip away at enemies as they get near me. It's not necessarily my main uh, offense here. It's really all about like I, like I was talking about before. Really about using the power combos. That's really how you're going to be doing most of your damage. Alright, so there's a cryo explosion detonated by energy drain. So just, you know, like I said, just keep on using Snap Freeze and just, just cover everything in ice all you can. It's also got a really great, well, pretty, actually it's a pretty typical dodge of most, uh, most human uh, kits in this game. So as you can see, you know, <laughs> as I named him Tech Explosion, that's really what he's all about. All right, so I'll just finish this last round here, and then we'll wrap this up. So I just used her uh, barrier there to restore my shield. This isn't typically a uh, kit you would <laughs> I would uh, solo with. Probably should have done that earlier. So there, there's a nice cryo explosion there using energy drain. It's a detonator.
And I want to save that Banshee because I also want to show using the shield to block her uh, biotic ball that she throws at you. Get her in a position here. All right, so she should be throwing one of these soon. Okay, so you can see there, just as soon as she throws that, just get your shield down. That will block that thing completely. And there we go. Enemy is still active. Stay alert. Okay. Thanks a lot for watching. And uh, in the next video, I'm going to cover the Asari Justicar Adept. So I'll see you next time. Captain Bozzy out.